now that we've progressed from removing our sidewall, setting our side edge bevel, we want to start with our diamond files and our ceramic stones, polishing stones, to get a finished product. And diamond stones are for cutting. And basically you have three major diamond stones that are out there in the industry right now. You have a DMT diamond stone, which has been in the industry for a very long time, come in many grits. You have the 3 in diamond strip, which is attached to aluminum plate. And you have the DFACE Moonflex, which is new. We're going to take those tools and place them in our 92 degree side edge beveler, the same one that we've been using to set our edge. We'll place it in there like so. We're going to use our spring clamp once again to clamp it in there. We're going to use some Secret sauce, as we call it at Sun Valley's Key Tools, it's a polishing solution. cuts down on the amount of friction and the amount of heat, making your tools last longer and also making it slide a lot better on your edge. So we just put a couple of squirts in there, right in there. And once again, we're going to start right at the tip of the ski, and we're going to work to the tail. And just like you were with your filing motion, start with working the tip. Moving into the center of the ski, and then proceed to the tail. And finishing with a couple of long passes. Once you have your edge set, it's not as important to work all the way to a really high grit in your diamond stones. You're going to accomplish that with your polishing stones. If you're just going to go through a diamond stone grit progression, that's fine. But if you plan on moving on to some ceramic stones or some polishing stones, you probably just need to accomplish a 400 grit. Just like if you're doing a consumer tune, probably 400 grit is as far as that you're going to need to go with the ski. All these are basically the same in what they do. The difference is the length of time that they last and the cost that you pay for them. Some of the bonuses, DMT is very light, easy to pack around. It's been the industry standard for a long time. Good tool. The 3M strips are replaceable, meaning that you can pull this plate off and put on one to fix it, adhere to another one. This is new to the industry. This is a DFACE Moonflex. It's a mixture of nickel and diamond. Lasts twice as long as any of your other stones. Plus with the moon shapes that it has in here, it doesn't cause any styrations on the edge. Very important for you to use your polishing solution when you are using this. Lengthens the life of the stones. Also makes them very easy to clean. The easiest way to clean these stones is when you see there's a little bit of discoloration in there. Just take your normal file brush card and just go ahead and scrub them out. That's going to remove that and keep the length of your stones lasting a lot longer. Okay, once we've finished with our diamond filing, it's time to move into a stone progression. And there's many different types of stones as you can see. We have a T2 Pro stone kit. We have a World Cup stone kit, which has eight stones in it. Four of them are cutting, 220 through 600, and four of them are ceramic, 220 through 600. You also have a fine ceramic stone, and a medium ceramic stone, and a surgical stone, which is very, very high polish. The reason that you do your stone work on the ski edge is because you're trying to harden the edge and polish the edge so that it's very smooth and so that it cuts. The common misconception amongst people when they're tuning their skis is to feel the ski as such and say, wow, that's really sharp. But that's actually not the truth. Commonly when people do this, there's a burr that's been formed on the edge. And it's not smooth. It's actually very harsh. So when you form a very smooth edge, it cuts into the snow, ice more specifically, much easier and much smoother, leaving you the ability to control the ski through the turns. Now, we can use each one of these in progression. The ones that I'd like to demonstrate with is the T2 stone kit, which is the blue stones. And I'd also like to point out to you 
the uses of the handheld triangle stones. Handheld triangle stones are used for finish work. They articulate in your fingers very easily. If you come upon a nick after you've done some finish work and all you need to do is just resharpen your ski, it's very easy just to find that nick with your finger, work it out like so. That's with a 220 cutting. And this is a 320 polish. If we're moving from a diamonds all the way through the progression, what I'd like to use is a 220 through a 600 in the TTU Pro Stone Kit. Put our clamp on. Just like with our diamond stones, we'd like to use some polishing solution. It does a couple things. One, it keeps the stones clean, lets it slide a lot better, producing a higher finish. A couple squirts on there. Once again, just like we've done in several other progressions, so we're going to start at the tip, working in the midsection of the ski, and work into the tail of the ski. Start making nice long passes. You shouldn't be able to hear anything happen. There shouldn't be any grinding sound at this point. You should have removed every burr that's possible off the ski with your diamond stones and with your files. It should just sound very, very smooth. And the finer you get with the grits, 220, 320, 400, up to 600, you shouldn't hear anything. You should just hear like a smooth polishing action. Once you're finished with that, you can actually tell the line that you've been running on your side edge. If you spray a little bit of solution on these, you can clean that piece right off, making these stones last you a lot longer.